Hello everyone, how are you today? You are all welcome back to my channel, Apostle Paul Taiwo YouTube channel, if today is your first time here, I want to say a very big thank you and God bless you. Endeavor to click on the subscription button and click on the notification icon so you can be notified whenever I drop a new video onto the channel or whenever I come up for prayers. I pray that this video you are about to listen to will bless your heart and bring you into repentance and strengthen your bonds with God and with His Holy Spirit in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. Endeavor to like this video and share it to your loved ones, God bless you. On December 22, 1986, around 4.15 p.m., I suddenly felt like I was going to die. So I laid down and soon I was inundated by an intense white light filled with the most fabulous power of love in the universe. Inside this light, I could hear the roar of deafening winds but also the most beautiful song of the voice of angels that covered the sound of the winds. My body was paralyzed by the power of this light. This love was beyond me. I was afraid of losing control of my physical functions. The desire to stay in control, the desire itself, movement, thought, everything that was human died in the light. When it swallowed me whole, an explosion of ecstasy and love rose from my navel, merging with the light itself. Soon I became the light, I became innocence, love, ecstasy, peace, power, beauty and wisdom of light. Like a mother carrying her child in her arms, the light carried me upstairs at breakneck speed. The light spoke to me and I knew it was God, that power that had created the whole universe. The light told me that this first sky of light where I was, whose light and love exceeded a million times what I had known on earth, was filled with an infinite number of heavenly planets. I looked at my body and saw that it was made of pure white light, but it still had a bright human form. I stayed there for a while, then I was transported higher, where the joy and glory of God crushed me to the point of not being able to bear this ecstasy for a long time, therefore, I exploded in a new light where the glory of innocence, love, ecstasy, peace, power and wisdom was a million times brighter than in first heaven. My new body was more radiant, clearer, and could somehow support an exponential increase in glory. I am told that this second heaven had an infinite number of planets. In the light of each of the ascending celestial planes, the qualities of this glory increased a million times. The splendor and the beauty of the life inside these celestial planes are inconceivable for the individual spirit if it is separated from this light. I exploded once again inside a new light a million times brighter than the previous one, it was the third heaven. There my body still looked human. But there was so much white light in it that I couldn't believe my eyes. I could see clearly and perfectly millions of miles away. The song of the angels above me was magnificent, deafening and glorious. I felt that the vibration of sounds carried such sophisticated wisdom that it could actually create life and myriad possibilities in the universe. The angelic sounds did not only resonate for pleasure, they were sounds intended to create. I left the third heaven for the fourth, where the glory of God was so resplendent that I had the impression that the beings existing on this plane exceeded any concept of glory imaginable. My body was so bright here that it had little human appearance left. This glory, with its qualities, was so radiant that I said to God, I cannot bear any more. You are so much larger than the God that I had imagined to be beyond my understanding. Entire galaxies of energy could be created with this light. I asked God not to bring me higher, but he did it anyway. At this stage, the splendor of glory clearly exceeded my capacities, an astonishing quality of light descended from an even more radiant plane above me. I don't think there were planets on this plane, but maybe there are beings living inside the stars themselves. The grace of God, its most poetic and marvelous quality, descended like millions of leaves falling harmoniously soothing and purifying ecstasy and glory to a point that I could not bear. 
I could write an entire chapter on this grace without being able to do it justice. Then I was brought to fifth heaven. My body now looked like a giant sun. I no longer had any human appearance. Glory is indescribable. What is happening there is completely inconceivable for humans. I stayed there for a while, then I was taken to sixth heaven. This one is a million times more radiant than the fifth. I will not speak of the splendor of God on this plane. The angels sing so loud that no human ear can hear this music of the universe. My body had become an even brighter sun merged with the light that is at the center of God. I was then transported to seventh heaven. What was going on there was so beyond my ability that God brought me down. I could only stay in seventh heaven for 10 seconds. The light there could create entire galaxies with the utmost ease. The beings who can go there are a million times more advanced than me. Since the level of light and glory of innocence, love, ecstasy, peace, power, beauty and wisdom increases a million times from heaven to the other, going through these planes and staying there is very difficult. Here are some scriptures here for our understanding. 1 Timothy 6 15-16 which in its own times he shall show, who is the blessed and only potentate, the King of kings, and Lord of lords, 16 who only hath immortality, dwelling in light unapproachable, whom no man hath seen, nor can see, to whom be honor and power eternal. Amen. My father's house has many rooms, if that were not so, would I have told you that I am going there to prepare a place for you? John 14 2. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. Colossians 3 2. But our citizenship is in heaven. And we eagerly await a Savior from there, the Lord Jesus Christ. Philippians 3 20. Whom have I in heaven but you? And earth has nothing I desire besides you. Psalm 73 25. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day they pour forth speech. Night after night they reveal knowledge. Psalm 19 1-2 God bless you for listening to this testimony.